the day you will learn how to do magic and use your smartphone to blow out a burning candle. Sure, you may try to do it by just waving your smartphone, but that's not magical at all. Our aim is to make it a show, as well as clearly explain how it is even possible, because Cookie doesn't seem to understand how it works at all. First, you need to take a usual smartphone and install a special app, which, by the way, is paid. So I had to buy it for a buck and a half. After launching this app, your smartphone gets the turbine, which seems to blow air out of it. We press the power button and the turbine starts rotating and, I guess, makes the phone blow. We bring the smartphone to the candle and see that the flame is hardly moving. Seems like we need to press the green button to boost the frequency. The sound is changing and now the smartphone is able to blow the candle out with breeze from the speaker holes. We decided to continue the experiment so, crumbled small balls of steer foam and see if the turbine will move them. Wow, look at this stream! I bet you are wondering how it works. What kind of dark magic is this? The secret lies in the phone's speakers and its vibrations. Its work principles are similar to those of Bluetooth speakers. The diaphragm of the speaker placed in the phone body moves the air back and forth from the sound holes. But if the air goes in and out, why do we only see outgoing airflow? The thing is that when the air comes out of the sound chamber, it forms the airstream with a strict direction which spends all the energy to keep moving forward. But when the diaphragm of the speaker moves inwards, drawing the air back in, the air is no longer drawn in a straight line, but the path of least resistance from all the surrounding areas especially from the sides. The air that came out while being pushed cannot be drawn anymore, as it flew out of the area far ahead. A similar effect may be observed in the case with the fan. If we sprinkle the foam balls in front of it, even the distant airflow will greatly affect the trajectory of their move. However, if we sprinkle the balls near the fan behind it, they spill out as if there was no fan, since it takes up the air not so much from the back, but from the sides. Suddenly, Stefan came up with the idea to perform a similar imitation to that with a smartphone, but on a large scale with the help of a Bluetooth speaker. We select the frequency, allowing the diffuser to move with the largest amplitude. Then, to provide the airflow, we take a plastic cup and cut its bottom off. The part we've got we apply to the speaker with blue tape. Now the slight breeze may be felt even at a distance of more than 10 centimeters. The gas lighter is blown out easily. The foam balls are blown with the same ease. I'm convinced that this experiment may help you surprise someone or maybe even win a bet. We tried this app on three smartphones and each of them handled the task differently. Moreover, each device requires its own frequency. By the way, the number of our subscribers grows like a well-fertilized lemon tree. I take that as we've done quite fruitful work, which wouldn't be possible without your support. So we'd like to thank you for staying with us and encouraging us to create new interesting videos.